A warm welcome, everybody, to Car Manufacturer. We're going back to the Roaring Twenties to manufacture cars. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Okay, Blammo. Here we are. It's the 1920s. I think it's the 1920s. And we are... We're going to be building ourselves our very own car manufactorium. Uh, people, people love cars. And I'm here to provide them for them. Uh, so, let's get into this. Uh, we've got to build a whole load of stuff. Um, such as a building. What do we want our main thing? Metal building? Roman building? Uh, let's go with a metal boy. Something like that. This is going to be our main building area. And let's give them a couple of doors. I want a door over here. Uh, oh, we could actually have different styles of door. <gasps> Double door. Right, we need to get storage in here as well. How much storage? I'm going to say this much storage. Um, and then a place for them to actually put down, you know, bits of car. Uh, you know, we can't build a car without the bits. Um, okay, right, we need a place for our cars to escape. Um, <laughs> that's uh, how that works. So, people need to deliver car to there. Car needs to drive out of there. Uh, what else do we need? I need like a car park, which I feel like maybe over here is pretty nice. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, car's actually very big. Um, I did not anticipate. Oh, we built it a perfect size. Okay, I think we could just start out with just five. Because also, as people walk past, they'll be able to see like those cool cars, and they'll be like, wow, I want a car. Right, we need to hire some mechanics. Bob Johnson. Bob Williams. George Johnson. Henry Johnson. Oh, so we just hire the whole Johnson family. Uh, I need some people to bring stuff from the train into my place. Uh, oh, something I didn't do is I didn't say what kind of thing we're going to build. It's the Jacques number three. Light and reliable. Love it. Okay, right. We need a few other buildings going on, such as I need to get a office to do sales from. Let's see this Roman building. That looks pretty good for sales. Real nice. Although I don't like that there's that space on the windows. Luckily, we can just resize. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the way to that you can resize stuff in this is actually like pretty good. I'm in into that. Right, three sales desks. Oh, we can't even have that many people yet, but um, that is fine. And sure, get a little bookcase in the corner right there. Real nice. Uh, I'm going to have to hire a salesperson. So come on in. Who's the better one? Charisma. Yeah, you want a lot of charisma. This person's a little smarter, but this person's more charismatic. I feel like I want, you know, a real good, real good car salesman. Uh, oh, look, they're building. We're building the first car. Look, that guy's struggle. Oh, with that big old steering column. Right? Um, I do actually have missions. Right. Unlock research department. We need to do research. We need to do advertising and production line. I don't actually have a research department yet, though, which is not super hot. I guess the brick building can be the research building. Though, is this a building? The, like, the mesh? Does that count as a building? This seems kind of wild. I, I'm I'm all for it, though. Uh, okay, right, we want a secure door so no one can see inside the door. I don't want people to be able to, like, work out what we're working on at the moment. A research department. Pow. Uh, there's our salesperson. Look at them go. Just having a little run around. That's actually a pretty big building. What have you got? Oh, it's the little crank at the front. That guy's been, like, doing a sort of, like, Resident Evil-style mission to be able to find that. Oh, uh, do the lost hammering because the car is getting out of here on the conveyor belt. Nice. Okay. It's a bit like Brum. Do you remember Brum? Nice. Okay, someone's in there, and hopefully they're going to park it over here. Uh, we've got a car to sell. I have spent almost half my money setting this up so far, but we're okay. Nice. Look at that. Okay, right, we've got a car to research. And then I want all of the desks, like, looking at it. Uh, we don't need nearly this many desks. But I want everyone constantly, you know, that's how they're going to have their brainwave. Uh, <laughs> it's still wild that the researchers are just, like, in the cage. Get in the research pen. I want some big brains. Oh, they're all pretty smart, apart from you. Strength. They're not very strong, but they're smart. That's great. Oh, there's new power in town. Generic motors. Uh, we now have more competition. Generic motors. It's the most high-tech manufacturer. Uh, ooh, okay, we need to, like, beat them. Okay, uh, send them a friendly, friendly chat. Um, I don't want to make too many, like, enemies yet. 
What do we want? Increase the number of researchers that can work at a single station. No, I don't need that. Modeling station. Oh, someone just bought, bought the car. Yay, I hope you have a good time. Try not to crash. Uh, right, my research. Uh, oh, it was a milling station. Okay, well, that's fine. Here, get three of those. Great. What are these guys up to in the research cage? Are they tickling each other? <laughs> guys, please. So we can set up production lines. That is the dream. We've almost got the other car. Actually, let's just instantly switch over from that to the production line. Uh, so what we are allowed to do is slam down another assembly station. And I can connect these now to each other. Now they'll split the jobs in half. They'll do the first part here and then the second part over there. And so it means that we can actually have two cars going at once. Um, in the dream world, we'll have like 20, 20 of these. Um, I don't know if you can get that many, uh, but a whole load. So we could be working on lots of different ones at the same time. Nice. Okay. This is exactly what I was after. So some people can be working on a chassis by here and then the others can like finish up the, uh, the car over there. Um, how's research? We've got even better production line. Do we need even faster conveyors? Okay, we were told that we need to research advertising. Um, we need to get people like really into into our cars. Uh, and actually, do you want to extendo? How are we doing for cash? We are kind of burning through cash, but I'm hoping with this new setup, we'll actually be pretty good. Oh, what do the shelves do? I'm not entirely sure how the shelves work. Um, right. Sales. The promotion slot. Yeah. Uh, although I'm a bit tight on cash. I might have to take out a loan. Let's take out that four grand loan. Why not? Let's get a whole load of them. 13? Is that too many? 14? Is that too many? Never. Just hire everyone. Uh, there's a new person. Ferry motors. Ah, we don't need to worry about them. We make cars. Okay, I kind of want to just redesign this whole place. Okay, we need deliveries. We need deliveries fast. Uh, oh, we've got a whole load of decorations. Do you want like a big oil boy? Car! Yeah, there we go. That looks like a real like good car thing. Oh, okay. What do we want? Blimp. No, let's just do uh, flyers. Uh, no, the newspaper. People love newspapers in these days. Uh, there's a new power in town. Uh, Walter Corp. Experts in PR and promotion. Uh, sure. Challenge that owner to a friendly chess match. Why not? That sounds lovely. Okay, I kind of want to get the the toilet cage set up. And this is for, like, the, the poopies. Wow, people were really eager. God, they just, they heard the toilet cage was ready to go and just ran for it. Oh, I've been waiting for so long. Run. Toilet cage. Production. We got the better production line. Now we can get six workstations, which seems good. How can we get up to 12? Okay, right. I think we just kind of keep pushing through that. I'm going to maybe have to shuffle around this area a little bit. God, do we? Do we have a fiddle? How much this sells for? Let's crank it up. You know, there's a chance that people might not buy it, but we've got a lot of folks coming. And like that little bit of extra cash, I think will really, really help out. Let's get down to business. Um, I want to future-proof this. Okay, uh, we've kind of got the six bays lined up now. So hopefully no one will get run over by the uh, conveyor belt, but is this all going to work? Uh, it took a bit of a bit of finagling to get together. Uh, placing those conveyors is a little bit finickety, um, but we got there in the end. Right, when the deliveries come in, we are losing a lot of money, but that is fine. Uh, we've not been researching this entire time either. So let's get another production line. Why not? Uh, the next one allows us to go up to 12. So I guess we can just dupe that whole setup. And also we might need to be taking out a loan because the cars are taking their sweet time. So I'll take another loan. Um, I'm just worried that we're about to go bankrupt. Okay, uh, cars are rolling out. Man, I need to sell a car quick. Okay, those salespeople, like, get on it. Um, look at that waiting room. There's so many people waiting. Uh, we've got to take another loan. I have to sell cars 
so fast. Actually, like, look, we kind of got through that first, like, little hump. And now that we're just mass producing cars, let's go into research. Uh, because we need to start actually kind of like getting better cars. Uh, when I get a bit more cash, we can actually expand this whole area out a little bit. And let's get ourselves another very charismatic, boom, salesperson. Uh, okay, I see the poop cage is still just a raging success. You know, why wouldn't you want to come and work for just like old fat cat Tom? He gives you access to a daily poop cage. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, it's not even the 1920s, it's 1901. Uh, yeah, because they definitely had cars. Uh, well, fancier cars. Right, what am I doing? Discover any blueprint. I'm not entirely sure how I discover a blueprint, but... Oh, I was supposed to have done this. Discover new blueprint. <laughs> Good job to me. Luckily, we've got, like, a load of research points and stuff. Oh, we are making big stacks. And they're actually going to do a blueprint. God, this whole time, they've just been... I've just been paying these chumps to do nothing. Just flipping their paper around. That's how you discover a car. You just get like loads of bits, like cardboard cutouts of a car. Um, you know, like little scrap work, uh, patchwork bits. Throw them in the air, see where they land. Like, does this look like a cool new car? Yes? No? Okay, do it again. Oh, summary of the year. Most popular brand, cool cars. Uh, best overall factory. Well, we do have the poop cage. Love that. Uh, oh, we didn't produce the most cars. And the Model 6. Oh, what are we using? We're making the Model 3. But we're... Cool Cars is the most high-tech factory. It's the most profitable business. The most happy factory. Oh, my God. They love us. They really love us. Do we need to really want to break this down into, like, nine stages? Like, are there even nine stages to building a car? Like, maybe if you separate it out, putting all the, all the wheels on differently... That might make sense, but I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, do the body, do the interior, put on the wheels, blam, you're done. That's a car. Wow, one station is literally just put the fender on. That probably doesn't seem super inefficient. It's going to spend more time wheeling between places. Ooh, the Type T Classic. Sure. Okay, that's kind of like a fancy boy. It looks more like a, more like a car as you know it than like... This little dude. That's like a horseless horseless carriage. A race announced. Uh, we worked hard on expanding our manufacture, and that might, might be time to become a genuine big player in a world of car production. This year's Indianapolis 501 race is the best opportunity for us. We'll need to produce a car worthy of the race. Save some money for sponsorship. Take care of our reputation to attract the best drivers. Uh, this is going to be an intense year. Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. The race. The race is on. Oh, nice. Oh, we paid off the loans. Love it. I'm going to take that big loan again because I'm going to hire, like, the best scientists. Futuristic thinking. Yeah, I want I want to just get to, like, future car. Like, if everyone else is driving around with their little, like, you know, wind-up cars and I turn up with, like, a hover car, imagine that. Okay, we did have to just redesign our layouts a little bit, but we now have two sets of things making cars. Oh, the Master B custom racing car. I am all over that. Yes. Yeah, I want to win this. I want to be like the world's fastest boy in one of these death traps. Okay, yeah, that's kind of working. I don't know where all my salesmen are. What the hell? Yeah, just never at their desks. Okay, I've got a bigger loading bay over here because... I think I need to... I don't want to have everyone producing the race cars. Do you want racing, racing red? Red wants to go faster. But yellow is luckier. Or fancier. Blue is lucky. Um, I'm going to go like that. This could be like the little secret project. Maybe we could have actually built this in another building. Uh, we are... Running out of deficit. I'm going to have to fire some people. We did take on a lot of scientists. Oh, this boy's worth a lot. Right. Risk sales not going through because I just need cash money at the moment. The oh, is that the Model T? Okay, great. Oh, we got the uh, the race car together. Nice. Oh no, did we sell the car? The red rocket. Like one of my competitors is gonna buy it, and that's gonna be bad times for me. I don't want people to buy it. 
Okay, there's like a 99% chance someone won't buy it. But that's fine. Uh, awards. Just, oh, so good. Okay, we didn't produce the most cars again. That's generic motors. That's fine. We're the most popular brand. They're the best factory overall. Oh, we've got all the awards. But what about the big race? Get ready for the race. Have 10,000 bucks total. I'm not going to have that much money. Wait, I wonder. On the last day, we'll sell everything. Four days. Uh-oh. Um, right, we might need to make this a little more a little more appetizing bonk uh that didn't give me any money i assumed it would give me cash select car the master b oh okay we can still take part but we just didn't get a good driver uh sure the master b just jerry the driver uh we won because we're the best oh wait we haven't won Oh, man. I still got, like, a good driver, though. Wow, so much better than all of their crappy drivers. Okay, no one had any money. Oh, Jerry the Driver is the winner. Uh, clear winner. I have the best car. I have the best driver. So good. Uh, congratulations. Uh, we produced a whole load of stuff. Uh, we didn't really make any money. But uh, we are the best. Blam, that's car manufacturer. <laughs> Uh, that's great. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, uh, the game seems pretty cool. Um, if you like cars and you like setting up little production lines, uh, give it a go. Until next time, everybody. See ya.